You were picked seventh in the preseason poll. Uh, tell me what your thoughts were about that and how, how you feel. Well, first of all, the ratings go on last year's performance pretty much. So the one through four is basically the final four teams. Uh, that's how they ended up and that's how they get seeded for the upcoming season. So in essence, it has absolutely zero meaning to us uh, because we are starting with almost a, a new team. So does everybody else for that matter. Yeah, talk about this new team. How, how, how new is it? Well, we had one practice this morning, so <laughs> it's new. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of new faces? Or yeah, yeah, we have 12 new players to integrate, and uh, it's going to be a, a tall order for a while until uh, everybody understands their role and, you know, until we get in unison with them. You, you've been coaching for a long time, but how, how does this compare to other sort of transition years that you've had or, or just, you know, the, the changeover of, of players and having to incorporate new guys? Yeah, it is a pretty drastic change when you lose six seniors. I mean, that's more than 50% of your, of your team, of your starting team, and, and those were starters. Uh, so, you know, we lost a lot of firepower. Um, we lost almost our entire defense, uh, including our goalkeeper. So we have to regroup. You know, it's uh, definitely something where now other players have to step up to the plate, returning players, uh, including the incoming players. Uh, we have some talent, so that's good. Where yeah. is all the scoring going to come from on this team? I, I mean, have no idea. Yeah. Maybe I have to step on the field and <laughs> bang a few in the net. I'm, I'm not so sure yet. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be more di uh, divided amongst the group. I don't think there will be a distinct goal scorer like we had in Fabian Herbers. But I think there will be quite a few players who can contribute on the offensive end to, to score some goals for us. How do you adjust you know, your attack when you, when you don't have a guy like Fabian who's in the mix? Uh, how do you guys kind of adjust on the fly with this new group and, yeah. and, and scheme and things like that? Yeah, well, we are operating at the moment, we are operating in various systems and formations you know, to see what fits the team because we still need to f figure out the roles and, and who can play where. Um, and how can we bring the best out in, in our players. We also need to figure out a rotation because that's where we do some substituting in, in the front line mostly. So uh, we, whether we play in our 4-4-2 like last year or, the, or whether we uh, change into a 4-3-3, I'm not sure yet. Um, we will see in the upcoming preseason scrimmages, uh, blue, including the blue-white game on Saturday, as to what looks best for our guys. I mean, talent-wise though, you, know, you bring in a lot of new faces but this group you know you got a lot of players in this mix I mean how do you feel about the talent level of this team versus uh, you know new classes that you've had coming in the past yeah the, the talent level is equal and uh, so it's it's not like we would drop in talent I think these guys uh, including the ones that we brought in they all can play they all understand the game uh, the question is the maturity the uh, the chemistry on the field the leadership uh, we lost a lot of that, and, and that has to be replenished. You said something at the start, you were missing something. Talk, talk about your relationship with Steve Pitt and uh, first time. Yeah, oh, that, that, was, that was a shock this morning when I, I heard about uh, Steve's passing. You know, Steve was part of the family. I, I always uh, remember him fondly when, when he was coming here around the corner with a big smile on his face. Win or loss, you know, he had that smirk always. Uh, and it was so good to talk to him and, and he was always there for us and uh, he was a tremendous reporter. I have a ton of respect for him and I, I really, really miss him. Just back to your team real quick. What are your options at keeper? Who are you going to be looking at? Yeah, we were fortunate to bring in a senior transfer from Boston College. He actually also played last year in the round of eight. Um, in goal, he was their captain uh, in Alex Cap. He transferred in the spring. He's in our grad school. He has one more year of eligibility. Uh, he looks really sharp, and you know I think he will he will be the one that we call upon uh, once the games are how does on the, the way. How does that uh, sort of happen? Oh, yeah. How do you how do you get a guy like that, or how did, yeah. how did that come to fruition? I guess. Yeah. Well, Alex wanted to uh, play his four years, and he graduated from Boston College already, so he didn't go into that grad program. So he was looking for a graduate program, so he was reaching out just like a recruit would. Right. Uh, we obviously did not know up front that he would be interested in coming here. Uh, but then when he approached us and when I saw his stats and when I saw some uh, games of his, uh, I, I really liked him and you know, he's, he's a tremendous goalkeeper. But health-wise for you guys right now, where are you at injury-wise and, yeah. and dealing with those things? Yeah, no, we're good at the moment. Um, 
like I said, we only had one practice so far, so I haven't beaten them up too much yet. And hopefully, you know, we're going to sustain. I mean, it's obviously really, really hot. We need to manage that. But yeah, we are looking good at the moment. Guys came back strong. Do you enjoy the challenge of these kind of seasons where you've got a lot of new faces to integrate? Is that, I mean, I mean it's nice to just know you've got a lot of guys you can rely on too, but at the same time, yeah. is it kind of fun for you to try and see where all the pieces are going to fit in this year? Yeah, it, it's, it's always a different dynamic, you know, and it's always a different challenge. Right now, I actually have more question marks than answers. Uh, last year it was the opposite, you know, I, I knew my team and I could have told you the lineup probably two months before we even kicked the ball around. Uh, now I don't, you know, so last year the pressure was to guide this team to the championship and I felt like we had the team to actually win it. But soccer is a fickle game, you know. So uh, unfortunately we lost uh, at Akron in the round of eight, but this year the challenges are very, very different, you know. So. It's almost like a new start because I have to go through our concepts all anew. Uh, Ricky, I think I think I thought you said last year when I was reading through some of the articles that he flipped the switch late. I don't know if it was just a mentality thing or I guess what did you notice from him last year and as he kind of carried that mentality um, over yeah, summer in the Rick, Ricky is a very strong player. He's he's technically very good. Uh, he is. Uh, for an attacking player, he is too docile. He's too, yeah. he's too laid back. Uh, he needs to show us now his aggressive side. He needs to show now that he's a shark in the box, uh, you know. And that is something that we are trying to get out of him this season. That he comes out of his shell a little bit more. Uh, that he imposes uh, himself in the in the penalty area a little bit more towards the opponents' uh, defenders and that he gets into positions to score more goals. 